We are still with Polya's four step strategy to solve problems. Find the general formula. In this video, we shall demonstrate how do you do Polya's four step strategy to solve a challenging math problem. Example 1.42 Find the nth term formula. Study the pattern and find the nth term formula that gives the number of color tiles in the nth figure. So, we are given a listing of objects. We are interested in the color tiles. We call each of them the term of the sequence. Okay, so again, a sequence is a list. A list of objects. In our, of course, this is math, so it's going to be a list of uh, numbers that follow a pattern. Okay, so let us begin Polya's four steps. The first step is to, well, do you understand the problem? This is a counting problem, and the challenge is to produce a formula. The formula, the purpose of the formula is to give us the number of color tiles that is in a specific specific uh, place in a sequence. So that is the challenge. So what is our plan? Well, we will count the color tiles, study them, and then make a guess about the formula and pattern. Of course, we first pay attention to the pattern, and then from the pattern, we produce a tentative formula. And then after we have, we have written down a formula, we will test. Will that formula replicate the given figures in our problem? So let us begin. Well, let us count the number of tiles in the first term. Okay, so we call this the term. Okay, again, going back to your sequence, the, the elements that appear in the sequence, we call them the term. So this is like the first term, the second term, the third term, so on and so forth. Okay, so for the first term, how many color tiles do we have? Well, it's six. How about for the second term? So let's count it. This is nine plus three, that is 12. For the third term, this is, this is 16. Okay, four times four plus four, that's 20. This one, okay, how many color tiles? This one is like 5 times 5, okay, 5 times 5, and then plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, that's 30. And for this one, we have 42, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, so 6 times 6 is 36, plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 36 plus 6 is 42. Okay, so we did the counting part, but what about the pattern? Okay, you know what, if you were to just look at the numbers, 6, 12, 20, look at that. The difference between these two terms is 6. Here it's, it's 18. And then here it's, it's 10. And then it went to 12. Okay, that's a difference. It's not easy to see the pattern here. If, you, if we must pay attention only to the numbers. But let us pay attention to, to, to the picture. Well, obviously, the picture has a pattern, and this is the pattern. We have a square, which is n by n, and then we have these stairs. That is the pattern here. At least, if you were to look at the picture, we have the square, and we have the stairs. And the number of tiles in the big square is n by n. So, for the first term, it's 2 times 2 plus 2, which is 6. For the second term, it is, it's 3 times 3, that's 9, plus 3 is 12. For the third term, it's 4 times, okay, 4 times 4, that's 16, plus 4, that's 20. For the fourth term, it's, okay, so this is 5, 5 by 5, 5 times 5 plus 5, so that's 25 plus 5, that's 30. And for the fifth term, it's, what's this, 6 by 6, that's 36, plus 6, that's 42. So you know what? If we were to focus only on the numbers, it's, 
it's uh, it is a challenge to see the pattern right away. But when we pay attention, when, when we paid attention to the picture, that's when we got the pattern. It's the square plus the stairs. Okay, so in general, what's going to be the pattern for this uh, sequence of tiles? A sub n is equal to n plus 1 raised to 2 plus n plus 1. When we write the formula, the formula must be related to the to its place in the sequence. For the fifth term, the pattern is 5 plus 1. For the fourth term, okay, the pattern is 4 plus 1 squared plus 4 plus 1. Okay, so we already got a tentative formula for the general term. Okay, so let us simplify that. That is n squared. Okay, so that is your special product. Or if you don't know the special product, just get the product of n plus 1 times n plus 1. And that gives us a sub n is equal to n squared plus 3n plus 2. So this is our tentative formula. Okay, so going back to our original plan, our plan was to produce a tentative formula and then test if that formula can replicate the initial terms of our sequence. So for the first term, what is it? So it's going to be 1 squared plus 3 times 1 plus 2, which is, that's it, that's 6. That agrees with the first term. Let us jump to the third term. Third term. 3 squared plus 3 times 3. Okay, so this is 9 plus 9 plus 2. That's 20. Okay, that agrees with our third term. And for the fifth term, 5 squared plus 3 times 5 plus 2. What is that? 25 plus 15. That's 40 plus 2 is 42. So we got it. Our formula replicates the first six terms of our sequence. So this must be our answer. This is the general formula that will give us the nth term of this sequence.